What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Galarian Moltres team that was actually used to win a Pokemon Regulation D tournament. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was actually made by my boy Clover Bells. Clover Bells, huge shout out to you for making this team and congratulations on making a tournament winning team. I'll be linking the video down in the description below. So if you guys want the Poke Base or see this team more in depth on how it won a tournament, definitely go check out over Bell's channel down in the description below. But the first Pokemon is going to be Galarian Moltres for today's team preview. Absolutely love this Pokemon, love its design, love its stats, love its typing, and it's got that Berserk ability. It also has a Citrus Berry as its item, Air Slash, Tailwind, Nasty Plot, and Fire Wrath. Really liking this moveset because you can get some nice little speed control, or you can get a nice lovely special attack boost and have this thing just go off from there. We got Landers in our second slot, great physical attacker and also really good at dropping opposing Pokemon's physical attack. That's Intimidate, the Safety Goggles as an item, Rock and Stop and Cantrum, Rock Tomb, U-Turn, and Protect. In our third slot is going to be Amoongus. Nothing to really be said about that guy. Pretty normal, pretty straightforward. It always does so good on any team. We got Iron Hands in our fourth slot, and Iron Hands is really good by itself, and it's even better when going up against Trick Room teams. It has Quick Drive with the Salt Vest as an item, Fake Out, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, and Heavy Slam. In our fifth slot, we got Fluttermane. Fluttermane is just one of those Pokemon that could be good on any team. It's got Protosynthesis, the Booster Energy, and then a little bit of a different moveset with Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, Substitute, and Protect. In our final slot, we got the best Pokemon for Regulation D, and that is going to be the Water Urshifu. It's got Unseen Fist, the Focus Ash has item, Rock and Surgeon Strikes, Close Combat, Aqua Jet, and Protect. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, run the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look grab some wins with this tournament winning Galarian Moltres team. Hopping into our first match, and we're going up against a really cool squad right here. Quackwaval and Lucario on the same team. Really, really dope. They also have Mimikyu, Talonflame, Fluttermane, and Volcarona. So really cool. Bunch of off-meta Pokemon. Hopefully get things started off hot here and grab you guys a win. But I'm thinking I'm just leading the Moltres. I can get some speed control with Tailwind. I can also do some big-time damage. Plus, I really like this Terror type. This Terror type is phenomenal. Plus, they might go into Tailwind with Talonflame. So I gotta kind of get after it and counter it that way. So I'm gonna go Moltres. I might also lead... Iron Hands. Do I lead the Iron Hands? I could. Could if I want to. Definitely could. Uh, do we think they're going to lead physical attackers? Potentially, Intimidate could be very good. Actually, we might just want to go Intimidate with Lando. I don't mind that. We're going to go Lando here. We're going to go Moltres. And then in the back end, we're going to go Urshifu and Fluttermane. Just bring a nice little hyper offensive team. Try to just push through these guys and try to get after it. And I was confused. But I did not <laughs> even click my Moltres, so I went to lead in the first place. So there we go. Hyper Offensive Squad is here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But uh, recently, I've been using uh, off meta teams. And it is, I was just like, yo, I got to bring you guys a nice strong team because I got like to balance out the channel. Some off meta teams, some really strong teams to give you guys the best of both worlds, give you guys teams that you guys can actually use for yourself, push high ladders, and also give you guys some cool, fun videos with some off meta teams. So, best of both worlds. You guys already know the deal over here on the Jeans channel, but. I think they're definitely gonna lead Talonflame. I think Talonflame is gonna come out here. That's kind of the reason why I led Lando. A, it's gonna be super effective onto it, and B, it can intimidate it as well, so it can make it do less damage. So we'll see. Hopefully two physical attackers are out here. It's gonna be Mimikyu and Talonflame, so that works perfectly. Very beautiful. We love it, we love it. So from here, I could just Terrastalize. Um, I'm thinking of just Terrastalize my my Moltres here and you turning out onto the Mimikyu, knocking off the Disguise and then setting up a Tailwind. I think that might be your best bet. So I'm going to actually end up doing that and saving our Intimidate for later. Because he could be swapping out Pokemon of his own. You never know. Because Intimidate minus one, that's big time on two physical attackers. We love it. So I'm going to Terrasize just in case a Fairy move is coming in. Mimikyu player officer scary. All that good stuff is scary. He could also pop a Trick with Mimikyu, but I don't really see it happening with Talonflame on the field. So we'll see. We shall see. He ends up tail winning. Okay. That's totally fine by me. The tail comes out from him. Mimikyu's gonna go first. Mimikyu's gonna go for the play rock. And this is exactly why we terrestrialize. A nice, lovely terrestrialize from us. So now from here, Tailwind is going to fly. And we match his energy. And we're just gonna U-turn pivot out of here. U-turning. Bang, give me that disguise. Give me that disguise. 
Okay, so from here, obviously, like, you would think that you want to bring out Urshifu. But the problem is, I can't Terrasilize the Talonflame to kill me in one shot. So I'm not trying to do that. I'm definitely not trying to do that. So I might just go into Fluttermane here. Start throwing some Shadow Balls. You will outspeed Mimikyu, which is big time. But a Shadow Sneak is looking rather scary, right? Oh, you should be able to eat up a Shadow Sneak. You will be able to eat up a Shadow Sneak. So I'm going to go into Fluttermane here. So Fluttermane is going to come out here. I am going to start doing some damage over on the Talonflame. And we're going to boost our speed with Protosynthesis, correct? No, it's special attack. I kind of want to speed here from you, Fluttermane. What's your speed right now, though? What is your speed? Because if you put it in speed here, we would be able to outspeed Talonflame once Gale Wings is off, but I guess it's not happening. So from here, I'm just going to Shadow Ball. And I am just going to Air Slash up onto the Talonflame. What if I Nasty Pot here? No, we're just going to Air Slash. We're fine, we're fine. I like where we're sitting here. So Shadow Ball's going to fight. He's not even going to Shadow Sneak. We're going to get rid of Mimikyu, no problem here. Say see you later to it. We're getting off here to a hot start. We still got Lando in the back end. Talonflame still minus one. We like it a lot. And Steel Wing's gonna come out here. Yo! This thing's rocking Steel Wing. We don't like that. We simply do not like that. So we're doing half HP of that, which I really like. Makes me want to go into another air slash into that slot. But we'll see what they want to do. They're gonna go into Fluttermane. Fluttermane is scary. It is scary. Making me want to go into... A fire wrath instead, but they're gonna protosynthesis boost. Is that gonna be speed? It's gonna be special attack, just like us. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But from here, I could just protect, and I'm leaning towards it, and just go into a fiery wrath. I like it the best. We'll protect our lovely little Fluttermane. We'll try to get rid of that talent flame. So we're gonna see a terror type actually come out here from Fluttermane. If I had to guess, there's no way you're doing talent flame. Yep. Cool. So he's gonna go straight fairy. I am protecting, and I am. Poison type on Moltres, so if a Dazzle Gleam is coming through here, I kind of like it. Because I would think you're doubling down. I would think you're going for Seal Wing again and Dazzle Gleam. Let's see. Moonblast. Oh, you Moonblasting into my Fluttermane. Show me Moonblast and Steel Wing. Show me both of those. That'd be awesome. Now you're going to Fire Blitz into me. The Fire Blitz going to get some recoil. We do not go below half, so our Citrus Berry is not going to pop. We're like one HP off from that, which kind of hurts, man. It definitely hurts. But Fire Rat's gonna come in here. Their Flutter Mane's gonna soak, and we'll go from there. We shall go from there. So we still have Citrus Berry, which is awesome. Um, I think Tailwind might end, which can be big, because then we can set one up. We'll see. But Volcarona's gonna come out here. I'm not worried about that. They're just doing the back end. So from here, what I'm thinking is. Maybe just protecting our Moltres. Right? I think we protect Moltres and then we just set up speed for later. The speed's gonna be our best friend. This is by far gonna be our best friend. And from here, I'll go into Moonblast, deal some damage here, and just. Oh, I don't have protect on you. Which actually really hurts. I'll double down to Fluttermane then. I will double down to Fluttermane. He ends up going for Moonblast, probably into my Fluttermane. And that might KO me. Probably gonna KO me, right? Yep. So it does indeed KO me. So we, we die out here, Fiery Dance is going to come in here, and that's actually good that it comes out beforehand. So that puts us below half, we're going to Citrus Berry up here, and we're going to get a Berserk boost as well. So I am I am still kind of scared here. I am still worried just a tad bit. This Fluttermane's deadly, man. Air Slash is going to fly here, it does some nice damage, some big time damage from us. And Tailwind is gone. So from here... <sighs> We might be able to eat up another fiery dance. I think we can. What do I do here? I could just save Urshfu. I think saving Urshfu, especially with the Sash, is going to be good for us. So, you know, I'm going to go into Lando here. And I'm just going to start attacking them. And on top of that, I will go for a Tailwind. Yeah, I think that's a rest bet. I think we EQ and we Tailwind, right? Or stop and catch him with Tailwind. Yeah, we'll stop and catch him. Try to get rid of Fluttermane. And we'll go for Tailwind if we can't get it off. We'll see. No protects. We just need to we just need to get after it. But Shadow Ball is going to come cooking out here. You're probably dead to that, right? Yeah, you died to that. And if I can land a stop and catch him and finish off Fluttermane, that's going to be game. So that's why I went into uh, Fluttermane on this turn. Because it was either Fluttermane. It's either I take out Fluttermane or I get off Tailwind. Either way, it sets us up pretty well here. But Fiery Dance is going to do a nice chunk of damage to me. 
They get a special attack boost. No burn on me. Cool. And Sonic Protect's going to fly. That should finish it off. No problem. Cool. Alright, this is wraps. I think I worried a little bit too much when we had this one on lock. Because now I get to bring out Urshfu. I had Sash the whole time with Sash. Is absolutely amazing on the Urshfu. And now I can just come in here, pop a nice little Surge of Strikes, and call game. Call game over. Plus, I also have Rock Tomb four times super effective. This Volcarona is in for a rough one. So I'm going to Rock Tomb over onto it. I'm going to pop a nice little Surge of Strikes. And I think our opponent's just going to cancel, right? Now he stays in here. He lets his Volcarona die out here. Let's it die out here. Surge Strike's gonna hit only twice. We get things started off hot here. Like I said, this team is very, very strong. Use this if you want to push high tier. We start off 1-0. Second match is on its way. We're going up against a lot of cool Pokemon today. We're going up against a Crocodile team with Annihilate, Gothitelle, Sylveon, and then Rotom Wash and Dragonite. So a really cool team. Hopefully they bring out the Crocodile because that Pokemon looks so dope. But how should I lead this one? How should I play it? I think Tailwind could definitely be a best friend of ours. So Moltres might want to be the lead again. I like Moltres. I like its terror type if they want to lead Sylveon. Moltres is just key to this team. So I'm going to lead Moltres. Uh, do I want to lead Intimidate? Not really. They do have Defiant Annihilate. So maybe just going into Urshfu or Fluttermane would probably be our best bet. And who do I want to go into? Probably Fluttermane first here, right? Well, you can get down with some Fluttermane. Yeah, I like Fluttermane here. So I'm going to go Fluttermane for the lead. I'm also going to bring Urshfu. And then, do I just bring Lando in the back end? Or do I bring a Pokemon like Iron Hands or Amoongus? Looking at the team, Iron Hands is not too shabby. I kind of like Iron Hands. I also like Amoongus. I also like Landers. I feel like we have a lot of different options here. Hmm. But due to a decent amount of special attacks here, actually it's like half and half, I kind of want to go with Soul Best with the Iron Hands. Plus we can have Fake Out in the back end. It's just really, really good, so I'm down with that. A lot of offense on this team. I really like this team. Just like those three Pokemon, Urshfu, Fluttermane, and, and Moltres, they really just rip up together. They're nice hyper-offensive Pokemon, and then depending on who you're uh, versing or what Pokemon you're versing, you can really pick between the three. So this team's actually pretty pretty relevant easy to use so if you again if you guys want to use this team to push high ranks i'm telling you rent it cloverbell's always making absolute bangers of teams but sylveon's gonna come out here same thing with gothy tail and i might just protect this turn and let my flutter main do its thing right because a fake out from gothy tail could 100 come out here actually i don't have protect which kind of hurts soul so i'm just gonna trash slice um i would like to just pop a fire wrath but i'll go for tailwind instead Actually, I'll go for a nasty spot if we can pull it off here. This will be the turn to do it on. Then for me, we just rip with the Shadow Ball and the Gotha Tell. Let's see what they end up doing. I'm going to Thrash Slice. Yo, the Poison Terror is so good. It's so good, especially with how many Flutter Mains are in the meta right now. And we're seeing Sylveon here. This Poison Terror is where it's at. Just kind of wish we had Terror Blast at times, but I love this moveset so much. So we Terrasalize our Birdie Bird again. Shadow Ball is going to fly. No Fake Outs come out here. And this KO does not KO. Wow, that thing's bulked. That's, that's, a, that's a bulky little boy right there. It's a bulky little Gothitel. Nice bulky Gothitel. And I get off a lovely little Nash spot. So we're hoping the Fairy Moon is going to come out here just so we can soak it up and get after it. I can set up a Tailwind next turn if need be. And there's the Hyper Blast. So that's exactly why I Terrasalize into that Poison type. Dirt Sprite is going to pop here. Um, I might double down to Sylveon next turn, depending on what Gothitelle does here. We'll see. It goes for a Trick Room. That hurts so just a tad bit. That hurt just, just a tad bit. From here, I'm going to Air Slash down to Sylveon. And I'm just going to protect the Flutter Man. Trick Room coming out from the Gothitelle. Yeah, that hurts just a little bit. Just a tad bit. So I protect here. Hyper Voice is going to fly here. I just want to protect my lovely little Flutter main here. And I want to get off as much damage as I can with Moltres. I'm plus two. And Psychic's going to... Oh, 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 Psychic might KO me. It does not. Okay, so we have Citrus Berry. We're going to be plus three. If I can take out Sylveon here, this could be a big turn for us. This could be a big, big turn for us if we can take out Sylveon. The Citrus Berry will allow us to open another Psychic if need be. And Air Slash gonna cook in here. And wow, it doesn't even. It only halves its health. Stab plus three? Come on, man. That ain't right. That ain't right at all. I need to get rid of Sylveon if I wanna win this match. 
Fluttermane survives. It's big time Fluttermane. It's big time Fluttermane. It's big time Fluttermane. We like that Fluttermane. Fluttermane with the eat up. If I can protect again and waste out another turn. But, wow, yo, Sylveon's just so bulky. Same thing with Goth and Tell, they were able to just out bulk my shots. If we get rid of Sylveon, that's big because we have two fighting Pokemon in the back end. So getting rid of their only fairy Pokemon is big time for us. And now from here, I could go into Urshfu, I could go into Iron Hands. Um, I'm thinking of just protecting both, maybe just hard swap into Iron Hands. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Urshfu here. Just see what, what, what we have to look at here. The self Terra, and I'm thinking of just double protecting, right? Makes some sense. Double protect and then maybe just hard swap Urshfu or f even Fluttermane in the back end. Well, now I want to hard swap Urshfu. But yeah, how many turns are left in Trickery? That's real question. Two. So yeah, double protect. Double protect and then we'll hard swap Urshfu into Iron Hands. We'll let Fluttermane die out here. And then I think the Pokemon can really clean this one up. Depending on what terror type this is. It's going to be Poison. Nice little poison type, which is kind of scary, right? Poison's just such a good terror type. Off a crocodile might be whooping on us this game. More so just Sylveon and Gothitelle just really being good. So we'll see how this one plays out here. We know they're going to go for a Psychic into the Urshfu slot. So hard swapping that into Iron Hands is not ideal, but it does have a soul best, and we'd rather him take the shot than anybody else. He's going for gunk shots, man. Yo, chill on me. Chill. Chill. Okay, so from here, again, we're going to hard swap you into Iron Hands. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot that's a thing. Shadow Tag's a thing. Which really hurts. I mean, I am sashed. Um, might as well go into certain strikes and go into a Shadow Ball in this slot. Are you double down to Urshfu again? No, you're not. You're just going to go into a Psychic into this slot. Really wish I could have swapped because now I'm minus one still. The gunk shot's gonna fire. And how much damage is gunk shot gonna do? I mean, we have Sash, which is good, and we're able to soak that up. No poison would be awesome. And he shows he's warm. So we're minus one, and we're still doing a nice chunk of damage. Big time chunk of damage. Yo, can we KO here? That's big time. Okay. So I still feel as we're in this. I don't think this is this is over yet because they have no first turn priority, which is big time. And what I'm thinking here is just faking out the crocodile. Is that correct? Should I fake out the crocodile? Yeah, I'm gonna fake out the crocodile, and then I could, should be able to surge strike to KO. And fake out might even KO the crocodile. I can hit through protects if Gothel wants to go into one, and Trickrim is gone. I don't think we're sitting too bad here, depending on what its last Pokemon is. Like I said, if we could get rid of Sylveon, which we did, we should have a nice shot at winning this match with these two back end Pokemon who are so strong. So Fake Out's gonna come in here. It picks up the KO. That's huge. Fake Out's picking up the KO. Now all I need is my minus one Urshu. Actually, the minus one doesn't even matter because they're critical hits. I always forget about that. They should be able to KO. There's one, even though Gothel's so bulky. Look at this thing, actually soaking up some shots. Two, and then three should come in here. We're looking good. We're looking real good. But it just sucks for our opponent, because if I was the opponent too, I would've been like, yo, we're in the lead, we have some nice turns, all that good stuff, but it's just like these meta Pokemon are just absurdly strong. And I feel as our opponent definitely had like the upper hand until we threw out these meta Pokemon. But now comes Rotom as their final guy here, and I'm gonna just gonna drop close combat. We should be able to outspeed that, and on top of that, try Drain Punch, that Wild Charge. I'm thinking just wild charging, doing as much damage as I can. So close combat's gonna fly here. It's doing that much damage. This thing's probably citrus berry as well. And good thing I, I have the assault vest too with iron hands, which is big. And you end up with a wisp in me. That's actually a terrible turn. And the reason I say it's a terrible turn is because he could just taken out my Urshabu. He could have just Thunderbolt and taken out my Urshabu. But now we're sitting pretty. Now we're sitting even even prettier than before. So, out's gonna come left there, but it's not Citrus Berry, and it's gonna be game. It's gonna be game. Next Wild Charge to get off, wraps it up. But we were winning this one regardless. 
Regardless of if the Will O Wisp or KO'd my Urshfu. Both times gonna protect. The funny thing is my Urshfu's still punching him. <laughs> my Urshfu's still whooping in on it. It's not gonna KO, but it comes very close. It comes very, very close. The you know, Urshfu is just he's too much to handle. Way too much to handle. Earth Tom's gonna get a little bit of leftovers back. It's no problem. Next close combat that lands. Next wild charge that lands. Gonna bring us a 2 0. I'd be surprised if our opponent stays in this match. Might even try double protecting, but there's no point. There's really no point. You're gonna have to land like four protects in order to do anything. So let's see. Nope. Battle was canceled. 2 0. We are killing it with this Moltres team. Your boy Jeans is staying hot. We're 2 0. I think we grabbed ourselves a perfect record in the last video or the video before that. We've just been grabbing winning records and perfect records left and right. So we're looking to do the same thing here. Trying to grab ourselves a perfect record. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. And we're going up against Forigraph, one of my new found favorite Pokemon. Absolutely love this thing, especially for VGC and uh, ranked battles. They also have Rillaboom, Rotom Wash, which we just versed. We actually just whooped up on it. And then Golden Go, Volcarona, and Lando. Um, I think they're going to lead Forigraph. I think they're going to lead a Pokemon like Rillaboom. I think both of them could definitely come out here. So who do I want to lead? I think a Pokemon maybe like Flutterman could be really good because Shadow Ball is going to be super effective onto the Ferrigraph. Can't be hit by Fake Out. Can't be intimidated. I really like Flutterman for the lead. So Flutterman is going to come out here for the lead. I'm also going to lead Moltres. Would I like to lead Moltres? Yes. Yeah, I mean, getting off Tailwind is going to be top tier. And then Urshfu is going to come in here. And then in the final spot, I really like support Amoongus. So I'm going to go into it. So cool. Bringing in the core three, like I said, you bring in the core three with these guys, Fluttermane, Urshifu, and Moltres, and just bring in somebody that feels best or looks best up against opponents, and you're going to be thriving really well up against a lot of opponents. This team was made so good. Like I said, Clover Bell is always making absolute bangers of team. Link to his channels down in the description below if you guys want this pokey paste. So, let's see who comes out here. It is going to be Roboom, and it's going to be Volcarona. So, I kind of like Fluttermane. I kind of wish uh, Frigoriff was out here. But we know he's gonna fake out the Moltres. And I mean, that's okay. It's, that's I. We're just not crazy. We don't need to terrestrialize. I mean, we could terrestrialize Fluttermane. Um, I think now would just be a nice little sub up turn, right? Because if he's gonna fake out my Moltres, Substitute could be the player. We could just try to get off an Air Slash if we can. So let's see what he does here. He's gonna end up to last life. That's gonna be a nice little Volcarona tower, right? Nope, Rillaboom's we'll gonna come out here with a nice lovely Water Terror. Water Terror from the Rilla. Okay. Are you still faking out my... You're protecting me. Please fake out my Moltres. I would love to get a free sub up. I sub up here. Let's see what he ends up doing. He's going for a knockoff into my Fluttermane. Could be. We could get him to flinch here too. We have a flinch chance. Woodhammer's coming out here. So sub was good. Sub actually helped us out here. Probably would have took a bit too much damage. <laughs> a bit too much damage for that. So sub was not a bad call there. So we end up going into sub. We are going to get some HP back. And I might just protect Fluttermane. Might just end up protecting Fluttermane here. I do have Terra Fairy. I could hard swap into maybe like a Moongus. But I just think protecting first is going to be my play. Now I can protect, and I think I might just set up a plot full of nasties. I actually really like that. I actually really like setting up the nasty plot. I want to try to get it off. I want to pull it off. So we're going for it. Going for plus two here. Fiery Dance going to come. Yo, double down in the Flutter Minion. This would, this is making us look amazing if they, if they double down the Flutter Minion. Because we're just making some good calls. The sub was a good call. Everything looking good so far. And he doubles down in Fluttermane. So we just got a free... A free, uh, <laughs> nasty plot. Come on, man. Come on. We're looking so good. We're looking so good. But from here, you know what? I'm just going to swap Fluttermane, save it for later. And I can just go into an Air Slash and get rid of Volcarona. I don't see Robin really doing too much damage. Volcarona could potentially protect, but... I think Air Slash can be a play. We're plus two. If it lands, it's going to be super effective. It's going to KO. And mm, the Moth protects. Maybe should have read that. Maybe should have read that. But I still think Woodhammer is going to go into the Moongus slot, which is totally fine. 
Mogus can soak no problem. And Milbum ends up U-turning. That's fine. He's gonna he's just gonna U-turn out. I can rage powder. I could set up Tailwind depending on what Pokemon come out here. But I'm curious to see who comes out here. It's gonna be Lando. So Lando comes out here. Um Rock Slide's a little scary. Makes me want to Terrasalize, right? Makes me want to Terrasalize Moltres. And I think I am gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna spore this. I'm just gonna Terrasalize and Fiery Wrath. Because I don't really see Volcarona staying in here. Not really, right? I'm actually I'm still gonna air slash this slot. I'm still gonna air slash this slot. Yep, that's fine. You can swap. I'm still air slashing. Let's see who they go into. They're gonna go back in the real boom. That's fine. You can go back in the real boom. Now I'm plus two. Now I'm gonna do a bit more damage. And the thing is here, I think he's going for rock slide, so that is exactly why I'm terrasalizing and I didn't range powder. And then on top of that, I can put the landers to sleep. And I can also heal up. My Moltres if need be, right? I can always Palm Pop next turn. So there's the Rock Slide. This is exactly why we Terrasalize. It does not bring us below half health, which kind of hurts the soul. I want to get that Berserk boost. And now we get off some nice damage on the Real Boom. And on top of that, we get off a Spore. So now that I Spored, um... Could Fake me out. And I think Fake Out is going to come here. Wouldn't be a big deal. Would not be a big deal if you fake out. I'm just gonna heal him up regardless and go for a fiery wrath. That's my play. Could fake out my Moongus. I mean, I don't know what you're gonna do. I would think you, you would just fake out the Moltres and start wasting out sleep turns. But this is a solid battle. So far, solid. There's the fake out. That's totally fine. That's actually gonna trigger Berserk. Berserk. I'm gonna eat my Citrus Berry and Palm Puff and go back up to full health. <laughs> Come on, man. Moltres plus three now. Moltres plus three at full health. We love it. That little boy's gonna be asleep. I gotta watch out for the EQs too. EQs are scary, but I think uh, I think Landon's gonna be asleep for one more turn. So from here, what's my play? The Rage Powder? I'm thinking just Rage Powder. I'll Rage Powder, I'll go into some Fiery Wrath. Plus three coming out here. I don't want to swap my Moltres. I worked too hard for these plus attack stats. And there's a Sleep. And that, I was going to swap a Moongus for that reason. But I just wanted to play it safe. The Fiery Wrath now flies here. Gonna do some big time damage onto these guys. And we get a Flinch too. Awesome, dope. So from here, I'm going to Rage Powder yet again. Just in case he only has Stopping Tantrum and not EQ. And then I'll fire Wrath across the board. Just in case he only has stop and catch him. You never know. We're playing it safe right here. We are playing it safe. He ends up waking up. Are you EQing or you stop and catch him? You don't have a rock slide. You might be choice on a rock slide. Hopefully no flinches come out here and my Moltres can finish this thing off. Beautiful. Yo, Moltres is ripping. He is ripping. And I can pile and puff him again if I want to and heal him right back up. We love it. So we get rid of the Rillaboom. I'm not worried about the Volcarona. We get rid of Lando. And I do not know what's last Pokemon. Cool. Thriving. Absolutely thriving. And we're going to be able to get a, another Berserk boost when we fall below half HP yet again. The Poison Terror on this bird is immaculate. It is so lovely. It is awesome. I used it all three battles today. And it's looking real good. It's looking real good. It's feeling real good. It counters so much. I love it. So Rotom's gonna come out here, and this Terror type worked out perfectly up against Rotom too. And a Moth is also gonna come out here. So from here, you know what? I'm just gonna go and do this. Pile and puff you. And I'm just gonna fire your wrath. Just in case the Moth wants to protect, I was gonna air slash, but opponent just cancels and we go 3 0. Grab you guys another perfect record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, 3 and 0, count them up, 1, 2, and 3, victories for today's video, absolutely love this team, huge shout out to Clover Bells for making it, I'm telling you guys, rent it right now, 
and get into Master. If you're not Master, just use this team. I'm telling you guys, it's so simple to use. Absolutely rips up the ladder and can get you guys to that Master tier. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.